There's a scar in the land of Korea. There is a great one. And I would call that the 38th parallel of DMZ that divided a country that had been together for 1,000 years and then was divided into North and South Korea, splitting families. And now today, the different quality of life between North Korea and South Korea is so stark. Uh, we're not able to go to North Korea, but we're gonna get close. Today, we're going to the DMZ, the demilitarized zone. They call that because in that area, there's no um, military action happening in that place uh, officially, but there are soldiers on both sides. In fact, this border that we're headed towards, the 38th parallel, is the most fortified border in the world, uh, with a million man army on one side and hundreds of thousands of soldiers on the other side with guns pointed at one another. And so we're going to this place, we're going to the Odesan Observatory. We'll, we'll be able to, from a distance, uh, safely see uh, this place, but also at the same time, be reminded of perhaps a longing that so many people have of one day being able to see their family or one day a country that had been divided will perhaps be healed. That's always a hope of so many, although as the generations have gotten older, perhaps some have lost uh, some hope in that, but many still continue to hope. We are at the Odesan Unification Tower. So we're at this observatory looking across the Imjin River into North Korea. So here we are in South Korea, the Imjin River, and right across, that's North Korea. This altar was made for Koreans forced to leave their homes in the north and take refuge in the south. In the distance, you can see North Korea, but in this space, I'm just reminded of my very brave and courageous grandmother who crossed the Injun River with little children, my aunts, with my two-year-old older aunt, my mom who was a baby at the time, and my youngest aunt who was in her belly at the time. And what a journey that must have been before the border closed. Uh, you see the song. Observatory that we're at, and in Korea, that's just right over here, South Korea. People who migrated to the south and left their homes from North Korea before the war and after the war, but remembering their hometown. Uh, this is the piano of unification. Apparently the strings are made of barbed wire, but still plays a sound. Kong's being used to share the stories of what it's like to be a defector in a way that makes it a little bit easier for others to hear the story. North Korea fled to China in 1997 only to be trafficked into 
marry an ethnic Korean man in China at the age of 18. She was caught and meant to be deported back to North Korea by China's public security, but she managed to escape by jumping off the train to North Korea. From there, her journey to China, Laos, Vietnam, Vietnam, and Thailand, until finally resettling in South Korea in 2007. She was diagnosed with a terminal illness in 2020, resulting from her prolonged process of infection. But after a life-saving liver transplantation, Sim started her new chapter of life as an artist, exploring various mediums such as ceramics, printing, and oil painting. You can see that many here would love to see a one Korea, a unified Korea. You can even see this KTX train like the one that we went to Busan. Perhaps one day, we'll go to Pyongyang and then to Paris. Thinking of you today and one day.